All right, this is a live shot of the beam that's going to be raised to the top. And you see there in that picture uh, the location of the two centers of excellence, one with Siemens Health and Ears to install the most powerful uh, high seven Tesla MRI for imaging, as well as the Thermal Fisher Center of Excellence for Electron Microscopy, which will feature the most uh, advanced microscopes for both soft tissue as well as hard materials analysis. The four floors that are above the basement will feature bench scientists, big data analysts, and clinicians who will work along each other in these laboratories without walls. One of the floors will also feature the VA Precision Health Laboratory for our faculty researchers to partner with VA researchers on projects of importance to the VA. There are three other people that I do want to thank, and they include Jonathan Curtright, Steve Zweig, and Rick Barron. The support from MU Health and the School of Medicine, along with Arts and Sciences, Engineering, and Vet Medicine, have been critical, critical to the success of this project. As Curator Steelman mentioned, we are going to be launching projects that's going to solve or cure pandemics before they occur. And as part of our recruitment, we have Professor Henry Wan from Mississippi State who joined us and he will be launching the Center for Influenza and Virology. And there it is. Today is truly an exciting day. This, this day was envisioned by the curator six years ago. And now we see the last beam being installed on the Next Gen Precision Health Institute, a collaborative project that will bring about breakthrough solutions for the health of Missourians and beyond. While they are installing the beam, I do want to thank the many contractors and the building specialists from Whiting Turner, Burns and McDonald, Murphy Mechanical, Watkins Roofing, Jay Weiss, Paincrest, IWR North America, Pro Concrete Design, and Jeff Schneider's Construction. 